What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires Now. By far one of the most unpopular reports in the last two years has been what Marvel Studios may look to do with a brand new Avengers roster, where we had previously heard in the last 16 to 24 months that they would assemble a big three that may be comprised of Shang-Chi, Sam Wilson's Captain America, and Shuri Black Panther. And every time we would cover a rumor close to that, as it came from multiple sources over the last two years, the comments from the fan base were mostly always the same. Aren't there more powerful characters or more popular characters, say like Spider-Man, that would make a lot more sense in leading the Avengers? And while I always remark that there will be multiple teams that probably find themselves comprising the Avengers and some heroes like Sam Wilson's Cap and Shuri's Black Panther only make sense in the context of say a grounded level and on 616, maybe not so much in the cosmic realm, we also know that a multiverse story is going to require the more powerful characters to step up and fight. And while I wouldn't put Spider-Man, say, on the level of Captain Marvel or maybe an Adam Warlock, in terms of popularity of the character, well, Spider-Man would make a lot of sense too. That's where we're picking up today with two huge industry insider updates coming from the same source talking about just that, what characters Marvel Studios may prioritize in the upcoming two Avengers films one of which should be no surprise at all, the other of which is a little surprising to me, and I'm guessing you can guess it by the fact that we're probably going to use the Marvel's trailer footage in the opening to this video. None other than Captain Marvel. We're breaking down the latest update, where it came from, what it said, and how it makes sense in the context of the new Avengers lineup. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, that's all we do, so hit the sub button, leave a comment down below, that automatically enters you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is in just a couple of weeks for Agatha the All Alongs finale. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so if you missed our video earlier today, which I'll have linked at the end of this, we had an industry insider update from Daniel Rickman talking about Marvel Studios realizing that perhaps the hype for the upcoming Avengers films was going to be less than they anticipated, and they thought it might have something to do with the unpopularity of King, or rather the fact that he's not as popular as, say, Doctor Doom. That's why they steered into a different decision, and really, it had a lot more to do with King the Conqueror's lack of presence in the MCU, lack of apparent popularity that had them thinking about switching to Doctor Doom and before Jonathan Major's legal troubles. Now this exact same appraisal of what's going on with the fan base should also translate to what's going on with the new Avengers roster, the fact that we don't have one yet in the MCU, and it's not exactly clear who makes a logical choice to A, lead the team, or B, even put on the team. Well, as I said, we had heard before that Shang-Chi, Captain America, Sam Wilson, and Shuri might be the new big three as far as the new Avengers team. But now we're hearing a little something different, and this coming from Industry Insider and the anonymous Twitter scoopster My Time to Shine Hello, who indicated that Captain Marvel will have an enormous role in the upcoming Avengers films, and we're even hearing that she may be one of the leaders of the team. We're also hearing that, and again, this also coming from My Time to Shine Hello, that while Reed Richards and Doctor Doom will have their important dynamic throughout the Avengers films, and if you missed our report on this from a couple of weeks ago, in Production Weekly, really the only confirmed cast for Doomsday outside of Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom is the Fantastic Four, we're also hearing that Peter Parker's relationship with Doctor Doom will be even more important than, say, the dynamic between Doom and Reed Richards, for obvious reasons, again, this also coming from My Time to Shine Hello. I don't think it would also be a huge surprise to know that Sam Wilson's Cap will probably be a co-leader alongside Captain Marvel for the upcoming Avengers, and that's just a basic given. It'll be the two captains leading the team. Now, as far as making sense in context of the story, Spider-Man is one of the strongest, most powerful Avengers that we've seen, but he's not anywhere near, say, someone like Captain Marvel or an Adam Warlock, and what I call the can fly around and blast here, because Marvel Studios has really been intent on just sort of tearing off superheroes as they've yet to have enough screen time to pit everyone against each other or even show some of their highest power level sets. I wouldn't put Spider-Man, say, on the level of Thor or Scarlet Witch. They just contain a different level of power that would make a lot more sense in the context of Battleworld and a multiverse saga. Really, there's only so much you can do with Spider-Man and Sam Wilson's cap when you're going up against a God Emperor Doom that we assume by the time we get to the end of Doomsday will have defeated Loki God of Stories and become the God of the multiverse himself. And so, 
in an attempt to actually defeat Doom, they're going to need their most powerful characters. And as Kevin Feige said, there's not room for 100,000 Marvel characters. Decisions are going to have to be made. Now, I've remarked before that if you want to know who's going to be on the Avengers or featured in these films, simply look at who had their own franchise movies and in the multiverse saga. Sparing the Eternals, start with Shang-Chi, Sam Wilson's Cap, next up Shuri. You have all of these characters who had their own franchise films. Those will probably be the characters Marvel Studios is looking to focus on. But more important than that, there are going to be some serious upgrades to characters like Spider-Man, say through things like assuming the Venom symbiote suit that are going to allow him to be a lot more powerful or allow them to level up. And I assume that's going to be across the board. So where it might not make a lot of sense to see Sam Wilson's cap going up against a God Emperor Doom, and maybe a little more sense to see a character like Doctor Strange taking him on, it's really going to be the Avengers as a team. That's what it's always been. And they're going to find a way to highlight these heroes, whether or not it's fighting against each other in a battle world scenario, or all taking on Doctor Doom at the end of Secret Wars. Marvel Studios definitely has their work cut out for them, though, as far as appropriating enough dialogue and meaningful screen time the characters that deserve it to actually have that in these films and I do not envy Stephen McFeely at all for having to write these scripts and negotiate all this space for all these characters even some that we haven't talked about at the channel in quite a while say like the state of the Guardians of the Galaxy team at the end of Guardians 3 or the fact that it point blank said Star Lord will return moments like that mean we're going to see these characters again and it's going to be even more complicated and even more layers thick than Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, but you guys let me know all your thoughts down below. Who should lead the Avengers? More importantly, who should be on the team? And which characters do you think they should prioritize here at the end of the Multiverse Saga as the big players and the arcs that they focus on during the films? I'm all ears as always. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel, and the next one happens to be at the end of the month to coincide with Agatha All Along's finale. If you want to be entered to win or for any of the other future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. You've got to be a subscriber, so hit the sub button, then leave a comment down below, and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos in the same way we're doing here, live with my voice in the winning comment when there is one shown on screen. So please be safe and vigilant on YouTube or really any other platform. Please remember anybody can take a content creator's profile picture, claim to be them. It's all a ruse to get your information on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp and charge you for shipping for a prize that's not there. No content creator, myself included, will ever charge you for shipping. So please be safe again and vigilant on any platform. And if you should get a spam comment like that, just report it directly to YouTube. They are very fast about deleting that account. And then everywhere they've commented goes away as well. You're actually doing a huge service to the YouTube community, not just the one page or comment that they happen to try to snag you on. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes under the name All Fires. And while I'd sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around, guys. We'll be posting again real, real soon.